Hey there and welcome back. We previously discussed APC types in Younger Burgess classification. Today we will finish discussing the rest of the types. As regards to LC injuries, there is a lateral compressive force to the pelvis, causing it to internally revotate. Now, according to the severity of the lateral force, they can be subclassified into three types, LC1, LC2, and LC3. In LC1, the pelvis is stable, and we can see an impacted ala and maybe a transverse or oblique fractures of the pubic rami. In LC2, the pelvis is unstable in internal rotation. The compression force will either cause a crescent fracture of the iliac wing, or it's going to disrupt the posterior sacroiliac complex. Now, remember in LC2, the pelvis is still vertically stable. But why is it vertically stable despite the fact that the posterior sacroiliac complex is disrupted? That's because the sacrotuberous ligaments are still intact. In LC3, it's actually an LC2 with contralateral external rotation of the hemipelvis. LC3 is called windswept pelvis, and this one is most common with bowel injuries. Now moving on to vertical shears, the shear forces acting on the pelvis disrupt both anterior and posterior structures, causing a complete loss of pelvic stability. And finally, in combined mechanical type, the injury involves two or more mechanisms, most commonly a combination of LC and VS. That's it for today, and as always, thanks for watching, till next time.